one. Good morning and welcome back. Today we're gonna to go ahead and make a new journal entry. Um, this is a pre-recorded journal entry, but in order to do it, I need to share my screen with you so you can see what's going on. Let me go ahead and do that right now. Perfect. In the journal, you're gonna to open to your newest section. Oh, that's super bright. There you go. Your newest section, which you have created titled the vision. Our new journal entry that we are going to create we're going to go ahead, since it's a pre recorded journal, we're going to put down October, whatever the date is today of 2020. And what we are going to learn is we're going to add a little bit more to what we started the other day. And we're going to talk about division as subtraction. Now, as I was sitting there thinking about how I was going to do this with you guys. I started thinking like, well, how do I do, which, what am I gonna do first? Am I gonna do this first or am I gonna do this first? Um, ultimately division, basic division facts one out. Um, and I think that's pretty good because we needed to talk about divisor, dividend and quotient because we're gonna use those again today. Now let's talk about this. I'm gonna go ahead and put my title up in the top, um, on the top of the paper, division as subtraction. And I'm going to go ahead and put the date in the corner. Being that this is pre-recorded, I don't know what the date is. Okay. Now we need to talk about what division is. And we've kind of talked about it a little bit. Um, we've talked about multiplication being uh, repeated addition. But in order to do repeated subtraction, we need to talk about division. And I think I've kind of alluded to that multiple times for you. But really and honestly, division is nothing more than repeated subtraction. Division is repeated subtraction. That's all it is. Now, remember, I'm gonna go ahead and set up a problem for us. I'm gonna say five is gonna be our outside number. Here's our stage and we're gonna have the number 2,654. Now, this is kind of the part that I was mulling over. I needed to tell you guys what the divisor is. And we talked about that. Uh, two days ago when we talked about it. Divisor, two days ago from when this lesson was recorded. And this right here is our dividend. This is the number to be shared. This is the number of people that are sharing it. What we're trying to find out is this number up top, which is our quotient. This is the number that each one of these groups are going to receive. Now, I started telling you at the first of this year, this is how I did division, um, how your parents did division as long division. But the way that I'm going to teach it is going to be a little bit easier. And I kind of showed you how that is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take five is going to be our outside number. Okay. And I'm going to set the stage and it's a pretty good size stage, but I'm going to put the number down and I'm going to put a line directly behind each number. So I have the two, I have the six and I put the line directly behind it, the five, and the line directly behind it and the four. Now, it's imperative that you put the line directly behind. And the reason for that is, is anytime we have anything left over, we're going to regroup and put it onto the top part up top. Now, or into the next number. Now, what we're going to do is off to the side, we're gonna skip count by five all the way till we get to five times nine, which is 45. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and lastly, 45. Now, I have it nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Now, the reason that we stop at nine is because on top of each column, we're never going to have a two-digit number. Now, what I'm going to ask myself is, uh, let me see if I can find something to cover this up with. Here we go. How many times... Can I subtract five from the number two? Now, I can't. The lowest I got is one, that's five, so it's not going to work. So I'm going to put zero. Zero times five is zero, and I subtract them. Two, take nothing away, is two. Now, that two, anytime we have a remainder, we're going to move it over into the next column in front of the other number. Now, the number I'm dealing with is 26. Now, let's find a number that's close to 26 without going over. Uh, right there. Let's see how many times it is. One, two, three, four, five, five times. 
And five times five is 25. So I put it here, 25, I subtract them. 26 take away 25 is one, okay? Anytime I have a remainder, I'm gonna move it to the next column. Now I have the number 15. How many times without going over can I subtract the number five from the number 15? Uh, right here, one, two, three. Three times five is exactly 15. And I subtract them I'm not with nothing. Now, I'm going to go ahead and move this over um, just so I can keep repeating that pattern. And putting a zero in front of the four doesn't change anything, okay? How many times can I subtract five from the number four? Well, I can't because it's only four and I need at least five. So I put zero. Zero times five is exactly zero. Because remember, zero times any number is gonna be zero. Four take away nothing is four. Now, there's no other numbers that are gonna be here. So this is gonna come out and this is going to be our remainder four. And we're gonna talk about interpreting remainders next week. Now, I can subtract the number five from the number 2,654. I can subtract it 530 times clean. I say clean because there's still gonna be four left over, okay? If this was Halloween candy, um, I'll go ahead and I'll eat those four pieces before I share it with you guys, right? That's fair. Now, let's go ahead and I know that this might be new. We're gonna try one more number. We're going to try the number 3,876. Notice this time, I put like a finger space in between and that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and set my stage up and put my line directly behind each number. Okay, what that does is it forces me to put whatever my remainder is in the next column. Again, my divisor is five. I'm gonna do it five because I already have the numbers here. Now, how many times can I subtract five from the number three? Can't, it doesn't go that low. So I'm gonna put a zero here. Zero times five is zero. I subtract them. Three take away nothing is three. And now that I have that three remainder, I'm going to move it to the next column and put it in front of the eight. Now, I'm saying how many times can I subtract five from the number 38? Um, right there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times five is exactly 35. I subtract them and I'm left with three. I'm gonna take that three. Anytime I have a remainder, I'm gonna move it to the next column. I put it in front of the seven. Now I have 37. How many times can I subtract five from 37? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not gonna go over. Seven times five is exactly 35. I subtract them and I'm left with two. And now this two, because it's a remainder, I'm gonna bring it over into the six, in front of the six, and I make this 26. How many times can I subtract the number five from 26 without going over? One, two, three, four, five. I know that it looks like you probably could go the six, but you can't, because that'd be over. So we're only gonna go five times. And five times five is exactly 25. When I subtract them, I have one. Now there's nowhere else for me to move this number to. So this is going to become our remainder. Now, I have 3,876. I could subtract the number five from it 775 times clean. And then there's one piece left over or one left over. Not that difficult. The th hardest thing about, about um, division, hardest thing about division is knowing your multiplication facts. If you know your multiplication facts, it makes things tremendously easier. Now, what can help us with our multiplication facts? Uh, oh, that's right. Hashtag reflex math. Um, what we're going to do today after we get done with our journal entry is we are going to make sure that we get our green light on reflex math. Um, this is going to be our journal entry today. I'll see you next time.